Before I get started, yes, there's a tutorial on this look. It's called Winter Mermaid. You know, ice, water, all that blue stuff. Just yes, Winter Mermaid. Um, I'll try to link it. But what I am going to do is be doing a review here. The first review, because I'll be having several. I'll have. I have several items to review today. I am going to start with. Let me put, that, put it away. Yes, I did. Okay, I finally picked up this foundation. And I am, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And it's warm, caramel beige W7. Um, they never had seven. They always had six, and six just seemed a little too light. W7 is almost too light until I set it, and then it's fine. What, how many days have I worn this? I worn it last week. For work a few days and what I did was I make sure I said it that way my tone everything will come into play properly because I feel like if I went with W8 it would be way too dark um, so W7 with a couple tweak factors and it's all good it does have great wear initially I was a little confused by it it kind of uh, had a little shimmer in it I, I think it has a little bit of a shimmer to it so if you're not down for that dewy glowy look this might not be the one for you but yeah it has like that type of feel is this the one that has the fragrance too and you can definitely smell this one it has a not necessarily fragrance but it doesn't have no smell not nah, it's, it, it's pretty strong I would consider it to be kind of a strong smell it goes away once you've put it on and you said it, you know, by that time it's actually, you don't smell it anymore. But initially when you're putting it on, you know it's there. Which is not, it's not bad. It's just if you don't like that, that's not going to be appealing to you. The price point for this, 10 bucks. Yeah, it's okay. I've been wanting to try this for so long, never find my color. And I finally find the color. And I try it. You know, everyone's like, you should try it, you should try it, you should try it. I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, it's decent for $10 to get it from the drugstore for $10. I feel like it's almost, what, is, what can I say? It's close to. Actually, it's close to Revlon to me in the formulation, like the staying power. That's what makes it so um, uh, worth its price because it has some staying power. What also makes it worth its price point? Um, the fact that they have so many colors and so many undertones, warm, neutral, and cool. I love the fact that they did that. They broke it up so you can get a better match for yourself. So, all in all, I'd have to say that on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 7 for me. It's not my I must wear this go-to, but it's definitely a good foundation. And I probably am a little biased because I love, I love my Revlon Nearly Naked. And I absolutely love my Maybellines. Not that L'Oreal's whack or whatnot. It's just that they're new to my makeup regimen. And I'm trying to, um, there is, it's wearing on me. It's, it's starting to, you know, wear on me. I'm like, okay, I'll wear this one today. Because that's exactly what I have on today. And it does, it blends in with my neck. Um, like, when I put it on and blend it, it all just, it goes together. And... It just looks a little light around my hairline because, you know, of course, I'm a little darker around my hairline. So I make sure that I bronze and I set it. But other than that, I, I actually, it's a seven. It's a strong seven. And I, you know what? I always like the fact that when I do see these and I want to get them, there's always a sale. Buy one and get one half off because I don't really find it. Um, I normally get it at Walgreens. Um. I normally look for it at Walgreens because my Walmarts don't have the selection. My Walgreens has the, the most uh, variety. So I tend to go to my CVS or Walgreens. And, and this time I got it from... I got it from CVS because they had the sale. But most of the time they have the same type of sales. So it was buy one, get one, half off or buy one. Yeah, buy 
but I won't get one half off. So I got this and the, what, something else, L'Oreal. Oh, no, that wasn't it. I got something else, and I got it for half price. So there's nothing, uh, what did I get with this? Sorry, y'all, it's the room now. What else did I buy? I have absolutely, I can't remember. That's my JJ. She's supposed to be taking a nap, but she just want to lay on my bed. The other ones are laying down, too, if you can see. It was nap time, and I couldn't get them to nap in that room, so they had to nap in here. <laughs> yeah, I get videos. <laughs> okay, but yes, ladies who are new to makeup, or if you just want to try something and you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you're looking for just the everyday, like, I go to work, you know, I need to make sure I, my face is a little smooth looking. By all means, pick this up because it, it's, it's actually worth this little 10 bucks. And at Walmart, if you just don't want anything else but this, then you go to Walmart because they have it um, cheaper. See, it's like $9.99 at Walgreens and CVS, but it's like 7 something 8 something at Walmart. And Walmart's only cheaper, but the thing is, if I buy more products, because normally when I go and fi buy a foundation, I kind of want to get their powder or their concealer with it. So CVS works better for me. I mean, drugstores work better for me because I, I get a deal on trying two products instead of just one. So thanks for staying tuned, ladies. If there's a product that you haven't seen me review that you're wondering about, um, let me know what it is. So see you guys next video.